Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey there, it's David Stenner with tonight's Deep Dive. It is October 17th, 2018, and given the volatility you've been seeing the S&P 500 and a few things that have been prop cropping up here, I thought I'd uh, again revisit this. So here's the S&P 500, uh, the SPY is the ETF. Uh, with the volatility we've seen as of late, the uh, short, intermediate, and long-term trends still have not made any adjustments, but uh, the Tetting rating has uh, within the last couple of days. The seasonal accuracy has uh, started to pick up here. And we've got a number of alerts that we're gonna be looking at so I'm going to go through them kind of quick. Uh, the elastic level has a slow low that has triggered, and this is the better of the two. Just a, a pivot low is one, but a slow low is much better. A wave low that is triggered in our wave level indicator, and then we have a, a support gap that is underway. If we take a look at some of the uh, the pro alerts, uh, in recent days we've had a surge low, a pop low, those are three days ago. We had a T rope, which is uh, basically just working in and around that of the uh, 200 day moving average. An EQ, which we don't get a lot of these, but this is an earthquake, and that's kind of a uh, a scenario where the market is uh, shattering itself, and we're looking for uh, uh, either a major continuation or for the most part, a bottoming to the uh, market. That's what the EQ or earthquake is about. And then the KS, uh, this is a keel sale. So for, for the boating uh, aficionados that are out there, this is a keel low. That's what the K represents. And it's very similar, but yet a little bit different from that of the uh, earthquake. Uh, the uh, KS or the keel in this case uh, uh, waits for a little bit uh, after we see an earthquake and uh, it confirms that things are starting to bottom. So a number of different issues issues are, are popping up here when it comes to the market. Let's take a look at it just to get a feel for what is taking place. Here's daily bars for the S&P 500. This is that big down day that we had last week. A little continuation. And during this phase, we are below this gray line, which is the 200-day moving average. And it was finding resistance, resistance, resistance. And then obviously, we had that pop. Now, today's action, we came down on the low, very close to that of the 200-day moving average, and then we were able to rally a little bit more. And so this is important. What we want to do is we want to stay above the 200-day moving average for sure, but we're also running into a little bit of resistance to the market. If we come back to this 24 and this lower 16, you're going to see if we go all the way across uh, that we're above these levels. So this breakage uh, to the to the upside and this close where we are, they're above this resistance level, but barely. We're kind of nudging up against it. So it's actually acting as support technically right now between these, uh, these resistance levels. So when it comes down to it, when we're looking at support and resistance to the markets, these are the ones that I'd be quoting more, these two uh, magenta levels, uh, in addition to that of the uh, 200 day moving average. So think of it as very thick resistance level. Uh, so instead of a, a fine line, think of it uh, as a major highlighter marker. And we, if we look at uh, today's action, the low is at the low of it. The high today is at the uh, just above this uh, resistance level. So you can see just how big of a wide a highlighter type uh, a resistance support level that we have to the market. So technically right now we're above it and all is looking good. Here's that wave level. Here is this, uh, in this case, uh, this little dot right here was the elastic slow low. So you can see that things have bottomed a little bit. It would not surprise me to see a little more meandering and then uh, another kind of a surge to the upside, more bullish than bearish. But in this environment, you just never know. So you really want to watch what the systems are looking at. So with that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the, uh, the seasonal tendencies to the market just to give you some perspective as to what we could be looking at. Uh, this is a five-year chart for the S&P 500. The blue line represents the, uh, the five-year seasonal study. The black line represents the current year for the S&P 500. You can see this dip. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the scaling, but the, uh, the S&P uh, did have this little sell-off and a pivot and we would see obviously a tradable seasonal trend that would emerge 
essentially where we are right now. So it's kind of nice that uh, things are set up well from a seasonal perspective. That's why on the, uh, the deep dive uh, uh, chart that we were showing before the table, the seasonal tendencies are certainly pointing to the upside. Now the 10 year, which is probably a better tool to actually look at, uh, this is going to have uh, major highs and little, little dips, highs and dips and whatnot. So we're in the midst of uh, one of those, uh, those dips right now, but we should see uh, even with the 10 years, which has more data to it, uh, uh, basically a nice little trend tradable. There's going to be dips along the way, but the bias is certainly that uh, of the to the upside. So that's kind of where we stand with the seasonal tendencies. Now the market itself, S&P, the Russell, the Dow Jones, the equity sector, uh, were long uh, the S&P 500 with a nice little profit, but there's uh, uh, three trades or three systems that are actually out there too long one short that's making up this profit uh, we're flat the Russell and for the Dow Jones uh, we have one position that's out there now with a nice little profit uh, underway so net net across the uh, the board on the equity side at least on the down the S&P 500 they're both pointed to the upside so watch Let's see what happens here with the uh, the S and P. Uh, I do want to flip back here before I forget, just to show some of those uh, uh, those pro alerts. I just want to show that you know here's you know the toppiness of the market. The market starts to sell off, and you see a lot of uh, things that are on this screen right through here. I'm just going to go through some of these just real quick, just so that you can see what has been happening a little bit further back than just four days, which is what uh, the uh, the deep dive uh, pro alerts is going to show. It's just going to go back four days or so. Uh, but in this case, we have uh, a number of things that took place: a T rope, a dazed low a crazy low target. I'm just looking at the, the bottom of the little pop-up screen. Uh, what we had then following that, if I just uh, go forward, is the earthquake. We had a, a, a pop bottom and a surge low. We had uh, going forward a T-rope low. We had uh, keel low and a crazy day low. Uh, so you can see that there's a lot of action going on there. It's kind of hammering home that there is a some form of a base that that is trying to uh, to pop up here. Obviously, there's all on the low side, and so when we look at the the deep dive and we look at the the patterns, this is really when we have a lot of these all pointing in the same direction, low, 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 low. You get the idea that there's an opportunity that uh, the naysayers that say that the market's going to sell off uh, or continue to sell off, uh, we would be looking for conditions to go long the market short term. You know, one, two, three, four days or so. I'm not saying that a new bull market is going to emerge from this, but a tradable opportunity has arisen from these lows and has given us the opportunity to, uh, to take advantage of the, the pop to the market. We'll see how things kind of play out with the seasonal tendencies and the seasonal trend that theoretically is going to uh, start to emerge here. So watch this and see if uh, you can take advantage of this type of a uh, basing. Last thing I'm going to mention is uh, these uh, grades to the market. I'm going to be talking about a webinar next Wednesday, and it's going to deal with grading the markets. I've left up here the equities where the Russell, the S&P, and the Dow. Uh, we have really good performance uh, for the S&P and the Dow in particular. Uh, they're both long uh, the markets right now with the systems, and they have uh, have had a tendency to be uh, A-related type markets, the yellow A in that particular case. So what I'll show you is this, is that if you come to membership, you come to upcoming webinars if you're interested in what are the market grades, how do they work, you know, what are we looking at. Uh, you you can sign up for one of the uh, webinars that we're going to be doing on the 24th, 11 o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time, just an hour. And we'll be talking all about the uh, the market grades. If you want information about what we're going to be talking about, the topics and some description as to what the webinar is about, just hit the uh, the little dot there. For some reason, we've been having some difficulty with this page. There's going to be even more uh, workshops are going to or webinars are going to be showing up here. But for some reason, it's just uh, it's taking a while for it to populate. Uh, but I can assure you of this: that for the remainder of the year, uh, we're going to have quite a few. We've got two more in uh, this month. We'll have probably two in uh, November and another two uh, in December all different topics, uh, looking at uh, different uh, aspects of trading. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason, you know, there's no particular order that we're going to be going through, uh, but at least it'll give you an idea as to uh, you know, some of the different types of workshops are going to be out there. Uh, so in this case, we're going to be talking about market, uh, grading the markets, 
how do we come through that why is a market good what makes an a market versus a c market things of that nature uh, and it's good for those individuals that are looking to potentially trade new markets or they want to get a feel for what kind of a market they actually have from a uh, from a grading type uh, operation see how your markets stack up and perhaps you'll even be introduced to a market that you didn't know about uh, that uh, has a high grade and something that you might want to take a look at uh, after you've uh, gone through this particular uh, webinar. So with that, uh, hopefully we'll have um, uh, some more that will pop up here in the, in the coming days. And uh, from that perspective, uh, hopefully you can sign up for these things and uh, take advantage of some of the content we actually have on our site. So thanks very much for watching, and we will take a look at another market tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye.